Waiting this long, the anticipation, the build up to the night. Where are we going with it all? We do not know. We're going to get Tinu Cup first to start off a night with his Chapman stick. He's going to be doing some original songs, and then after that, we have a little bit of a treat from Cat Elliot and some original stuff, and something even more lovely than that. <laughs> We have some sing-song, lovely, wonderful, original music tonight and some poetry from Anita. And then after that, I'm going to be playing some of my songs again with, with Alex. So enjoy the evening, get your drinks in, get cosy and let's have a great night. Love you all, guys. Let's do it. My name's Alex Dinuk. This is my song, Free Man's Tune. I hope you enjoy it.
This is a cover of a song called Lovely Day. One is one of my own originals, and it's called Origins.
Thank you. Another one of my own. This one's called Waterfall. There's a seat there, and there's some seats in the middle if you want to sit down, Judy. Next up is a cover of a song called Remember Me. Thanks, Vic.
Thank you. Thank you so much for coming to the Art House tonight and supporting what we love to do. I've got one more song for you wonderful people. But before that, if you want to buy some merch, we have a merch table over there. I've got some CDs on sale. Fragile Lucy has some shirts and maybe some music. So feel free to check that out in the break. Uh, next up, one of my latest songs is called New Beginning. Hope you enjoy. song goes. I've been to Nick and you've been wonderful. Thank you so much. That was amazing. That was a bit of playing there on a Chapman stick. Um, I can only play four strings. I look at them and I'm like, no. Alex is like, you can have a go if you want. I'm like, no, Alex, no, don't don't put it on me. Don't put your stick on me, Alex. No, we're not, we're not, we won't go there. I wasn't going there, honestly. Um, right now, with her own music, um, like a voice of an angel from space. Um, uh, here she comes with her guitar right now um, and a, a great set of tunes and an awesome set of pipes. Um, Cat Elliot, everybody, let's get you plugged in. I'll keep talking while she plug in so there's no big gap of suspense or tension or anything um we won't leave them waiting around that long um so i don't say um that much 
Uh, it's something that I'm getting better at not saying. So there we go. I did it. I didn't say. I didn't say it. There we go. It's Cat Elliot. Hey everybody. Thanks for having me. Yeah, I'm just going to start with a, a song that I haven't sung that often. Thank you so much, Alex. What happened to you? I don't know. We'd all be really screwed if Alex wasn't there. Okay, this one's called uh, Stop Being Love. is raging on inside you every day brave young spirit wants to make a difference but the child within you cannot bear to listen scared to face the big bad world alone is safer here at home but you got to stop being in love
Thank you. Thanks, Alex. I don't know if it just slipped or, or what. <laughs> cool. Um, mouse is a little bit too high. <laughs> That's all right. It's okay. I'll just reach. <laughs> and the next song I'm going to do for you is called Through and Through. And it's a song. Yeah, that's perfect. Cool. It's a song about misplaced loyalty. Each time you put me down, push me down, pull me down, try your best to keep me down, I rise up, baby. Each time you take for granted everything I do and take advantage of my kindness, I will keep on loving. And when sometimes I hold your hand, snuggle close, cause you're my man and get the icy shoulder out, it cuts me. And then I spend sleepless nights asking myself, why are you so cold and what can I do to make you love me? And when you disappear into your show, I can't reach refusing to communicate, I'll keep on trying to bring you out and hold you close, give you the love you've never known, and hope that somehow I can save your soul from dying. Maybe I could stop crying No matter what you take I'm still giving However hard you make this I'm still living true You tell me love is dead But I'm still loving you Each time you criticize the way I carry on and roll your eyes because I'm always wrong I'll just try harder to make you proud and say out loud how glad you are that I'm around and smile the smile that makes my heart beat faster And when you tell me I should get out I'll spend time with my friends I'll just pretend it doesn't hurt my feelings Then when you say that you're okay and sit alone and so cold I'll try my best to guess what you are needing And when you say you couldn't give a damn what people think about you I don't understand but I admire you I wish I wasn't so obsessed and insecure they impress will they accept me No, it's better to be But I can never be like you No matter what you take I'm still giving However hard you make this I'm still living true You tell me love is there But I'm still loving you I wonder can there ever be harmony between you and me We're just so different so emotional and passionate and when I fall in love with someone there is nothing I won't give them Your self-control, cold and calculated, rational You always keep your thoughts and feelings safely hidden But in my dreams we abandon these extremes And meet somewhere happy in the middle Meet somewhere happy in the middle Call me a fool but I believe in me and you And I won't give up hope as long as we are both still living And if a miracle is all we need to get us through And keep us glued together I will never give up wishing Am I the only one wishing? No matter what you take, I'm still giving. However hard you make this, I'm still living true. Don't tell me love is dead, cause I'm still loving you. However long it takes, I will wait for you. So look into my face and see the living proof. To what you do, I'll never walk away. Cause I love you through and through, through, through. I love you through and through, through, through. I love you through and through. Thank you. Thank you so much. Next song I'm going to do, uh, it's called In Between the Lines. First you say stand by, you change your mind just when I thought I could safely say you were mine. Now I'm endlessly pondering, recklessly squandering all my resources, just trying to read your mind. Wasting my precious time, what am I gonna fight by? Waiting in between the lines, feel like I'm losing my mind. Never know what to believe. Riddles and little clues, that's all you're giving me. 
like nothing means anything now I'm stuck in between lines that keep shifting I find myself sifting through words designed to hide the truth in your heart yet I hang on each syllable learning nothing at all searching for some kind of light in the dark but I'm getting the feeling that the treasure I'm seeking was never from a star Faded out between the lines Feel like I'm losing my mind Never know what to believe Nothing means anything Now I'm stuck in between Lines that lead nowhere For miles upon miles Circles and bells away Black or white, day or night, wrong or right, I'd only shades of gray. Eyes that I never quite touched by a smile contradict every word that you say. Why did I ever believe I could figure this out? Thank you so much. I think I've got time for one more song. Is that right? Two more. One? Two, two more, one more. Two, okay, two more songs. Um, cool. Okay then. Um, this song is a... kind of a love song. It's called Violin. It goes like this.
Thank you so much. You've been an amazing audience. And um, yeah, I'm really enjoying myself tonight playing for you. And uh, hope you're having a good time. So this is my last song before I hand you over. The wonderful hummingbird sings. And yeah, this one's called Guardian Angel. It's about some amazing um, person that came into my life and pulled me out of a, a dark place. And uh, so I wrote this as a little tribute to her. <laughs> Was amazing, um, a phenomenon. You know, that's a word. Um, th that was from somewhere else. All of your own songs, and how can we find you on social media and that? I'm on the internet everywhere as Music Cat Elliot. Music Cat Elliot. Cat with a C. Like Cat with a C. Like meow. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Double L, double T on Now we're going to get Hummingbird Sings on the stage. She has a purple ukulele. Slightly jealous at times. Um, it wouldn't suit me, that's what I tell myself. Beautiful, beautiful ukulele and a beautiful voice and beautiful words. All of your own songs tonight. All of her own songs tonight. So check out Hummingbird Sings on social media if you haven't already. Um, make sure you give her a follow um, before she plays. Um, that's probably the best way to do it. Let's, let's all follow each other. Like, you won't want to. <laughs> no, you will. That, you won't unfollow her, uh, you know. Yeah. Follow her now. You, yeah, let's, let's get you up. Um, you singing first? Yeah. Brilliant. I'll, I'll let you work out how to do the ukulele thing. I don't know anything do about change. ukuleles. <laughs> Hello, I am Gail, aka Hummingbird Sings, and I'm going to be doing a few songs of using backing tracks. Um, I started playing ukulele about 10 months ago, but I've only got one original song at the moment. Well, I've got about five, but only one that's in a state where I'm happy for you to hear it. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm going to sing uh, songs about love and loss, um, 
and basically journey of the last five years of my life. Um, so yeah, I'm going to start with a song called Repeat, which is about a breakup, and you will see a pattern emerging. <laughs> There's a beautiful cage inside my head And a beautiful bird that needs to be fed I gave you the key to that part of me I thought that you'd tread carefully You told me that you'd keep it safe You said you'd take my pain away With such big shoes for you to fill Destruction was unavoidable All the times that we shared And the love that we've made in time That will fade all the words that you said that filled up my head, the rain will wash away. But the thought of you will always stay. You're on repeat inside my brain, like a song that I don't want to play. You're on repeat and I'm in pain. Da 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 do. Da 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 do. There's this void that I see when I look at your face It must be such a lonely place There's a fear in your eyes that can't be ignored But it's part of the man that I adored Told you that your lack of trust would be the enemy of us With such big shoes for you to fill Insecurity was inevitable All the times that we shared and the love that we've made In time that will fade all the words that we said that filled up my head, the rain will wash away. But the thought of you will always stay. You're on repeat inside my brain, like a song that I don't want to play. You're on repeat and I'm in pain. Da 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 do. Da 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 do. In this beautiful cage inside my head The beautiful bird turned around and said Give back the key to that part of me Cause I hate what you have done to me Give back the key and let me live in peace Take your goddamn song off of repeat All the times that we shared and the love that we've made In time that will fade All the words that you said that filled up my head The rain will wash away and the thought of you doesn't have to stay I'm in charge of my brain No, the thought of you doesn't have to stay I pick the songs I want to play No, the thought of you doesn't have to stay I'm in charge of my brain No, the thought of you doesn't have to stay I pick the songs I want to play I pick the songs I want to play No, the thought of you doesn't have to stay I'm in charge of my brain No, the thought of you doesn't have to stay I pick the songs I want to play I pick the songs I want to play I pick the songs I want to play I pick the songs I want to play. Thank you. I'm going to try and detract. Can I detract the mic from the thing? Because it's um, um, like further up. I'm kind of bending one leg awkwardly. <laughs> if you want to release the mic. Yeah, maybe I'll release it. I'll release it from its cage. Thank you. I love it. Thank you. I'm the co-pilot. Perfect. Um, thank you so much. Okay, um, so the next song is another breakup song, I'm afraid. I'm sorry about that. Um, and yeah, this was uh, written 2017-ish. Um, yeah, and it's called Don't Call. Thank you. 
Don't call me anymore. Don't knock upon my door. If I see you in the store, your face I will ignore. You've broken my heart. You've torn me apart. And I'd really like to start the moving on part. So don't call me anymore. It's you who I feel sorry for Cause you will never be adored The way that I loved you I would have given everything To make your broken heart sing But you were never true It was all an act, all a show too perfect I should have known and now thank God I do don't call me anymore don't knock upon my door if I see you in the store your face I will ignore you've broken my heart you've torn me apart and I'd really like to start the moving on part, so don't call me anymore. It's you who will be all alone while I make a happy home with someone worthwhile. It could have been us in that place, that oh so perfect happy space, if you weren't so juvenile. Thanks to all this pain and hurt, now I know what I am worth, and that is why I smile. Don't call me anymore, don't knock upon my door. If I see you in the store, your face I will ignore. You've broken my heart, you've torn me apart. And I'd really like to start the moving on part. So don't call me anymore. I'll never be so blind again To swallow lies from perfect men I don't want to be your friend I just want this pain to end Sure, fool yourself that I'm to blame In the end, it's all the same You're a dick and I'm a queen And now you're gone and that's the dream Don't call me anymore Don't knock upon my door If I see you in the store Your face I will ignore You've broken my heart You've torn me apart And I'd really like to start The moving on part Don't call me anymore Don't knock upon my door if I see you in the store, your face I will ignore. You've broken my heart, you've torn me apart. And I'd really like to start the moving on part. Don't call me anymore, don't call me anymore. Don't call me anymore, don't call me anymore. Thank you. I am pleased to say that the next song is not a breakup song. It's a, it's a, it's a kind of self-love anthem. 
um, about just being who you want to be, and it's called Be Who You Want To Be. Thank you. Here's a throwback to the girl you were last year. She wouldn't stop, she wouldn't succumb to fear. A little nervous, a touch unsure, but always looking for an open door. Here's a throwback to the men you left behind. Some abusive dickheads, but some were so kind. Some made you doubt everything you are. One made you feel like a superstar. Be who you want to be. Never give up your dreams. The future's not far to reach. It's not as hard as it seems. Here's a flash forward to the woman you will be. Secure and happy and above all free. A little crazy, still a touch unsure. No longer looking for any old door. Be who you want to be Never give up your dreams The future's not far to reach It's not as hard as it seems Here's a song for the girl you are today A battle cry full of words you can't say A little cliche but that's your style it's all okay, just put on your smile Be who you want to be Never give up your dreams The future's not far to reach It's not as hard as it seems Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, I'm reverting to form, I'm afraid, for the next song. It's a breakup song. <laughs> um, oh, yes, it's, it's uh, what's it called? Find the words. <laughs> Ironically. <laughs> exactly. Take my breaking heart 
fighting the words, fighting the words, fighting the words, fighting the words, and tear it apart. Thank you. Am I still good for time? I have two more. Am I good? Cool. Okay. Um, the next song, actually, the music was written by our very own Fragile Lucy. And uh, um, it's a song that I wrote for my dad, who um, sadly passed away um, two years ago, um, pretty much exactly. Um, and, yeah, he... he yeah, I'll let the songs speak for me. Um, this is uh, Thinking of You. I'm sitting here thinking of you And it makes me blue, Dad I'm sitting here remembering what you said I'm sitting here sad that you are dead Oh, oh, why'd you go away from me? Oh. Why'd you go where I can't see you? Where I can't see you? I'm sitting here eating cake and all my smiles are fake because you are gone. I'm sitting here writing songs for you I'm sitting here wondering if I'll make it through Without you, die Oh, oh, why'd you go away from me? Oh, oh, why'd you go where I can't see you? Where I can't see you I've been smoking and drinking I've been overthinking I've been so lonely So blue, so sad and lonely I've been so lonely So blue, so sad and lonely Thank you. I'm conscious of time. I was going to get my ukulele out, but that... Yeah? Okay. Alex, can you help me with the microphone stand? I've never played ukulele standing up, but, well, I have, like, briefly, but not properly. Hmm? No, don't worry about a chair. I'll wing it. I'll wing it. I don't know why I'm still... Da, 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 da. Yeah, that's perfect.
she, I should say. Okay. This is um, another dad song, um, and the first song that I've properly composed on ukulele. Yeah, um, this is called Feels Like Forever. Thank you. Oh, thank you so much. I have uh, been Hummingbird Sings. Um, as Lisa said, you can check me out on social media and all that sort of stuff. And thank you so much for having me here, Lucy. It's really an honour. Thank you. Amazing. Um, I'd like to say I'd been teaching Hummingbird Sings how to play the ukulele. But to be honest, we've probably had two or three lessons together and the rest you have done yourself. So. I'm not going to take any credit at all, um, but if you want ukulele lessons, um, please get in touch. <laughs> anyway, we have, a, we have a break right now. Um, grab some drinks. Um, do what it is you need to do um, in time that you have to yourself. Um, wiggle your bum about if it's getting a little bit numb in places. Um, yeah, do a dance just by yourself. Um, that would be good. Uh, not, not outside, though. We might get the wrong kind of people coming in. Um, anyway, it's been brilliant. We still have 
some amazing poetry coming up at about 20 past nine. So yeah, we'll have a quick break, about 10, 15 minutes, and then we'll be back with some poetry. And then after that, I'll be finishing the night with some amazing music. Some of my own tunes, um, but vamped up with some added bass on a 10 string thing. So yeah, I've got some merchandise over there as well. So if you want to buy uh, my new single, um, buy that. It's only 15 quid. If you want a t-shirt, they're only a tenner. Um, and I have some badges and frig fridge magnets, uh, which well, I, I will um, give away tonight because who wants them um, anyway? So. <laughs> yes, have a break. Have one of them. Not a Kit Kat.
Yes, the audience is stepping back into the space. Everybody's feeling groovy tonight at the Art House. What a great night we've had so far. Absolutely brilliant crowd. Thanks so much for coming along tonight and sticking around. We have some wonderful, 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 wonderful poetry for you guys right now. Get yourself all settled in and relax. Do a little bum wiggle. Do a little dance with your face. Throw some bottles around, it's all happening. It gets to a certain time of night at the art house and it all kicks off. It's gonna kick off a little bit now with some wonderful words from Anita Foxall. Um, if, if you haven't heard this wonderful wordsmith before here at the art house, you're in for a treat. It's Anita, everybody. Yay. I'm a bit nervous now, I've got to live up to that. Let's see if I can. Um, my, my name is Lisa Foxell and um, I'm a poet and yeah, you, you'll see me performing here and there. And um, um, instead of introducing myself properly and telling you where I'm from, I'll read you this first poem, which will be a sort of introduction anyway. It has to do with where I am from. <laughs> I am Plutonian. I've been downgraded with you, Pluto. I've been sent to be your only inhabitant. The journey was long and cruel, but I'm here. I'm strong. I'm valiant. I don't need Saturn's rings. I don't need the sun's heat. There are no forms to be filled in, and the life on Pluto test doesn't need to be failed or passed. The fees are waived off if you show commitment, regardless if you're a di diplomat, refugee, or a comet. Whatever you are, you are welcome. Pluto wants you full-heartedly and wholesome. Dwarf planets embrace me, for I am your only legal citizen. I am Plutonian and proudly so. Too distant to be seen, too small to be remembered, but here, accepted. Yes, this sounds insanely, incredibly insane and dystopian, but I don't care. It doesn't matter. I'm Plutonian. Thank you. time so uh, I always like to give this uh, it's like health and safety warning I will not sing for your own health and safety however sometimes I perform poetry with music with some musicians and they make it all sound much better make me recite in a different way as well and this is one of the poems that I do with them it's called click and forget it's a bother, it's a worry. No, beyond that, it's a stomachache causing a flurry. It's a fear that leaves you paralyzed, it leaves you curled up on the floor, and like sharp knives, knives it hurts you from the inside. Memories carry dynamite. Think of the wrong one for one second and you'll be hit by the storm it will ignite. Faces visiting you from the past, carry nefarious words, making your vision blurry, all is overcast. Heartbreak has damaged you unbearably. You want the warmth of love back, but it's been taken away from you perpetually. Your wounds may eventually heal, but the scars will be there, and the pain they carry can't be concealed. Disappointments and disillusions, accidents and deaths, an endless list of mind intrusions. You try exercise and wine, mindfulness and herbal teas, but disarming chaos continuously invades your memories. But we can make it all disappear. It's simple and it's easy and by the end you'll never know any fear. Just type below your card details, all logins to your bank accounts and emails. Trust us to delete all your memories, nuisances, unwanted contacts and bills. All will be forgotten, including this process. You won't even re remember you've paid to forget this. All vanished, erased, as if it never existed, and you'll live oblivious the lesion has been completed. So go ahead, you won't remember a thing. We promise there will be no regret. Come on, give it a go. Click and forget. Thank you. <laughs> So I want to try a few new poems as well. Um, let me see what this one is. I've got my 
pages written down. Um, this is fairly new. I don't think I've read it that much uh, to an audience anyway. Um, it's called, Where Do Memories Go When We Forget Them? Above the clouds, the sky is eternally blue. Below in grayness, the cry, they cry on us in downpours of rain, downpours of pain. We don't understand them anymore because they became isolated droplets, too small and meaningless. These droplet memories poison our bodies, unwandering bodies in this hostile infested soil. We roam aimless and numb, unaware of the forgetfulness hidden by the clouds. Maybe we know and we just don't choo and we just choose to live this way in the shade, hiding from painful sunlight. Maybe we know. Maybe we know where forget forgotten memories go. They navigate the sky and they stay there forever and they never die. Thank you. Chairs keeps me company and allows me to, to move about. And this notebook is very decaying. I need to do something about this. This is the first poem on this notebook, and I don't read it that often. Um, it's called Pebbles. She goes unsteady, shaky steps, bare feet in the night, distraught, disturbed, unnerving. The tears in her eyes make the roads go darker and blurry. She can't stop the tears, but the tears can stop her. She marches unsteady, for the pain weighs heavy. She simply wasn't ready. Words thrown like knives by an inebriated knife thrower. People look at her, they think they know her. They think they see through her and she has lost all willpower. He walks behind her, a broken sandal held tight to his chest. She's a frail bird that has fallen out of the nest. He sees her feet trying to keep her weight, but she's weightless. She floats adrift. Pebbles stick to her feet. They cause no pain. She's a body she can't no longer sustain. Volatile soul, beauty cursed by worst, heartless, pernicious. The world has become dark, cruel, and vicious. Arid being walking on pebbles. Sterile soul roaming under the stars. He follows her. He watches her every move, for she walks unsteady. He must be ready. And as they walk through the door and feel the comfortable, homely warmth, he embraces her and takes her inside. And while her tears drop to the floor, he takes her in his arms once more and washes the pebble off her feet. Thank you. OK, now I'm going to try some new, new ones. It's, lo it's lovely that you have a warming audience to try them on, because then you can see if it works. If it doesn't work, you have to go back and have a fight with your poem again and see if you win the next time. Um, this one is a bit, ooh, a bit dystopian. It's not a very happy poem. It's called The Last Meal. First time I'm going to read it. He was having his last meal, but was unaware of it. Lazily dripping his spoon in the same dull cereal bowl. Thoughts scrutinizing the day that didn't go as planned, blaming himself for it all. What meal would he have chosen had he known it was his last? Would he have invited friends and reminisce of the past? Would he have immersed himself in the speeding city sounds, drink until he numbed himself and collapsed on the ground? But at this very moment, the day, the day's thoughts and grievances continued tormenting him. And he there, oblivious that cereal, those spoonfuls will be the only sad food transported in his stomach. Would he have called family? Would he have cried the whole night? Would he have laughed and ignored his absurd premonition, opt this wasn't worth the fight? It was irreversible, regardless of any reactions, feelings, or blunt denial. He was having his last meal, plagued by minor blank problems. The sun would rise again the next day, but not for him ever again. For him, only this yesterday. Thank you. Bit of a dark one. 
Uh, oh, I'll move to a funnier one then. Uh, this, oh, it's about work. At some point, uh, it was just as the pandemic started and we were all um, on lockdown, working from home. Suddenly, my boss was very lovely, but he decided we need, we need meetings, we need meetings, we're all alone, we need to get together, know what everybody's doing. So it was, I was, I was on Zoom the whole time, doing meetings about meetings and meeting about meeting, and this poem is called Meeting. The meeting about yesterday's meeting, which failed to meet the objectives that last week's meeting needs to be adjourned. It is, however, urgent that this meeting reflects on all previous meetings and what was not fully met. Meeting will cover in detail all points covered in the previous meetings. Meeting agenda to be discussed in this week's preparatory meeting for meeting. Confirm your attendance for meeting by the end of the week. If meeting attendance not confirmed by then, you will be automatically considered confirmed. And your meeting attendance will be expected. Meeting attendance is obligatory. Meeting absence is not tolerated. Further catch-up meeting will be booked for all those who cannot attend. Thank you. <laughs> Which I should say, kind regards. <laughs> At the end. As, yeah, frustrating to live doing meetings, especially if nothing happens and you're just there wasting your time. Anyway, that was my rant out of the way. Uh, very similar to Hummingbird, I, I lost my dad eight years ago, and a few months ago, towards the end of the year, I finally started writing some poems that I thought would be more worthy of him than whatever I've, I've been writing before that I attempted to write for him. So I wrote a few poems. They might be a bit sad, but also quite funny. This first one is about his childhood. The eldest of nine. The eldest of nine in a starving household. The roof trying not to give in with the weight of nine small empty stomachs and adult despair. In a house where there is no bread, there is no rest, there is constant distress. All disagree, everybody's wrong. When you are the eldest of nine, there is no childhood, you are childminder the vessel to help helpless parents. Little time for school, school too is cruel. And now that you learned the alphabet, the directions, the rivers flow, how to add up the scarce food parcels available for all, which mountains never to be visited are the tallest, all the distant capital cities, you can stop. Your reality still lies underneath collapsing rooftop where you, the eldest of nine will help feed the stomachs of the other eight. Thank you. So this was about this childhood, but um, the next one um, is a little funnier because it comes with a funny story. Um, he, my dad was 50 when I was born, so I always saw him as a very old person. And he was very concerned about young people. And there was a time that in Lisbon that they built uh, the rail uh, road uh, under the bridge so the train could cross the bridge and take people to the other side, which uh, where all the beaches are. And my dad was very concerned when they opened on the first day, they were giving free tickets to everybody to try the new train to the other side of the bridge. And this poem is about his concern. It's called Over the Bridge. The train will take you to the other side of the bridge. Of the, oh, sorry, let me start again. The train will take you to the other side of the river for free. The new train for free today. The sun, the sand, the sea. Experience today firsthand without delay. My heart sinks. This is utterly unacceptable, so negligent. I can't accept this and I blame the government. How can this be allowed, deceitfully and dangerously luring a naive crowd? I don't think this is fair, I don't think this is right. The sunny beaches may be enticing and the journey of the bridge will certainly be a sight. 
but I can't cam come to terms with this. It's completely unacceptable. Young people, families, they're vulnerable and susceptible. What if the train falls in the river? What if all disappears with the snap of a finger? We are before the unavoidable path of progress, but these careless experiments are too hard to digest. Young humans must linger and prevail. They must stay strong in this world so much of them that they may still need to unveil. I have the solution to sort out this muddle, preserve young souls, and pack the train with old people. It's the only way, even if you find it austere. It's the safest and undoubtedly way I will volunteer. Thank you. There's a genuine concern of this. Bit. I still have a bit, so I still have two or three poems, they're not very long. And this poem is about my dad, but about how I imagine he complains about me. Lucy has got a song about being vegetarian. And, you know, there's vegetarians, there's vegans. And uh, I would say that I am a fussy-tarian, because I am fussy. And I think because my poor dad had to, in his 50s, take care of a child and learn how to cook and cook for a fussy child, he struggled. This is called, My Daughter is a fussy -tarian. My daughter is a fussy -tarian. Her favorite meal today will make her stomach turn next week. The only brand of yo yogurt she ate in which, in with what delight, and which I stocked in our fridge now form a sad tower of decaying bacteria, white neglected pulp, which now I have to eat, but I find them too sweet. My daughter is a fussy-tarian, so I don't know why I bother learning all these recipes, combining flavors she will barely taste. I list ingredients in my head, pick the ones that I know she may have never tried, to take, it, to take a look at, to see her look at them with aversion and repugnance. My daughter is a fussy tarian and I tried so hard, from rhubarb to cherries to codfish tongue. Yes, he cooked codfish tongue for me once. It was disgusting. I couldn't even <coughs> touch it. So the codfish tongue and seafood rice, a spoonful will be enough, and she may even indulge. But my daughter is a fussy tarian, a full-time job for a stay-home dad with no clue. I have no clue. I try so hard. Thank you. <laughs> I think it's hard. Um, yeah. So this is the last one. This poem I wrote, the last one about my dad, and then I've got another one, just not to be so gloomy. It's, uh, I wrote it in a um, workshop, and the workshop was inspired by knitting, by a project that went on in Southampton called Knit the Walls, and there was an exhibition. It was beautiful. So that was the prompt for our writing. Uh, so this poem is about losing my dad and, and knitting. It's called Stitches. I'm one row away from forgetting the instance of your loss for a moment. Memory is stubborn and undeterred, relentlessly looking at stitches, holding on to their presence in this here and now without you in it. I pull my thoughts tightly, so tight the needle will struggle to knit them out the next row. Another next row. Wool comfort to soothe this mind, mind of wool. I am five stitches away from letting go of all my pain. So I will stop for now, before I become painless and forget. Thank you. finish with a poem about friendship because I think some people in your life who are your friends sometimes are more important than family. They are proper family. You just chose them to be in your life. Um, so this is a poem. It, it was inspired by my university times with my friends where we would go to the cafe and just say we would vegetate together. It's called vegetating. I'm vegetating, staring at my soup. The soup's gone cold now. It's four o'clock in the afternoon and I'm having soup. 
I only realize I'm staring at soup when she comes in and asks, why are you having soup at 4 p.m.? I'm glad she came vegetate with me, though. I don't mind vegetating on my own with my soup. A half empty glass of water stands between us. She looks at its size. She looks at me, smiles. Soup at 4 p.m.? She should be used to this routine, but she perplexes all the time. Why shouldn't I have soup at 4 p.m.? Why shouldn't I have soup whenever I like? We vegetate together as her cup of coffee goes as cold as my soup. Cafe is full now, heckling. Hot cups of coffee, hot bowls of soup. The couple sitting next to us stare at the air between them, oblivious to the steam dancing before their eyes. We vegetate, they don't. She looks at them, sneers. She looks at me, sincere. We vegetate in silence. Cold cup of coffee, cold bowl of soup. I fill up the glass of water standing between us. Thank you. Thank you so much. And uh, thank you to Lucy. And like Alex said in the beginning, thank you to all of you to, for coming and, and supporting what we love doing. It's really it, really. It was wonderful. Thank you so much. Thank you for Lucy for putting this together. And now you're going to have amazing, fragile Lucy with her unique songs. And she's been warming up and dancing. So she's ready for you. Fragile Lucy. <laughs> Yes, um, me and Tinuk have been rehearsing um, for a few weeks. Um, it kind of started about six months to a year ago. We, we started jamming together and we didn't really know what we were doing. We were, just gonna, we were just gonna make up some songs and just jam and see where it went. And then I was like, let's try out some of my songs and see what happens. And this is what happened. Um, so we're gonna show you tonight um, how my songs have come on um, since me just being on my own with this little kid's toy. It's not a toy. Um, I'll get over it. Um. There is a need. It's there. Make sure it's out of your way. We're in there. We will tune now, or Alex will tune, and I will pretend... And then Alex will give me a G and I'll be like, yeah, that's good. Yeah, if you haven't seen Tinuk, oh, you did, you saw him earlier on. Um, please check out his social media. And he has an EP over there, which is available to buy. Yeah, that'll do. Yeah, we're ready. So I'm going to do my own, my own songs. And I hope you recognise them now they've changed a bit. Here we go. spaceship the other day singing songs to the planets and the sun hoping one day that they will return my tune back to me singing songs to the universe singing songs to the stars singing songs 
across to the universe Hoping one day that they will return my tune Back to me, yeah Up in the sky and I wonder why, 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 why the stars so far apart I look out in the sky and I realise eyes, 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 eyes We could be living in a virtual work of art Just yeah, singing songs, singing songs to the universe Singing songs to the stars Turn my tune back to me, yeah. Some extraterrestrials hear me. I hope it's being singing songs just like me. Yeah, I hope some extraterrestrials hear me. I hope it's being singing songs just like me, singing songs to the stars, singing songs to the universe, singing songs to the stars. Songs to the universe Hoping one day that day will return my tune Yeah, that was nice we never know where we're going with that, or maybe I don't, um, somewhere in the middle. And then Alex is like, yeah, just just hold on. Just stay on that key and we'll be all right. Um, yeah, another song now. It's called Wow, Wow, Wow. Um, let's do this, Alex. On a space elephant going faster than a moon pig. Going through space on a space elephant going somewhere that I've never been before. Right before your eyes now, now before. Right before I could fly now, now. And it's wow, wow, wow. Wow, wow, wow. On a space elephant go faster than a moon pig Gone through space on a space elephant go somewhere that I've never been before Right before your eyes now, now before Right before I could fly now, now And it's wow, wow, wow Wow, wow, wow Wow, wow, wow Wow, wow, wow i 
I've never seen the light. I've never been the light. I've never seen the light. Will I ever get it right now? Right before your eyes now, now, now. Going round and 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 round Flying a thousand miles an hour, yeah, I'm flying past your door and you've never seen You've never seen my face before, no, you've never seen You've never seen my face before And it's wow, wow, wow Wow, wow, wow Wow, wow, wow Wow, wow, wow Totally different from our rehearsals. Um, I, I love where we go with it. Um, Alex wiping the sweat from his brow there. Uh, we, we're getting through it. We're getting through it, Alex. We're getting there, aren't we? How are we doing, guys? How are we doing? It's like three rehearsals, I think, we've had in the last month, um, frantically putting these together um, between everything else that we do. Um, so, yeah, hopefully it's coming together amazingly. And this one, the other night, we worked out something spectacular on it. Um, so, yeah, this is... Yeah, we'll do that one first, shall we? We'll do that one first. Yeah, but this is Oriental Supermarket. Here we go. At the Oriental Supermarket, where I met you. At the Oriental Supermarket, where my dream came true. You were out buying tea when you bumped into me And I couldn't believe what my eyes they could see At the Oriental Supermarket I was walking the aisle when you gave me a smile and you looked at me I was out buying noodles and pack joy and you thought that I was a boy I was walking the aisle when you gave me a smile Will you come on with me and you stay for a while and you stood there and you thought about it At the Oriental Supermarket Where I met you At the Oriental Supermarket Where my dream came true You were out buying tea when you bumped into me And I couldn't believe what my eyes they could see At the Oriental Supermarket At the Oriental Supermarket Where I met you At the Oriental Supermarket Where my dream came true You were out buying tea when you bumped into me And I couldn't believe what my eyes they could see At the Oriental Supermarket You are the one, you are the one that I adore I don't want to leave you while I ever see you again You said to me that you have to go back to Singapore But I'll always love you and you always will be my friend Till the end, till the end At the 
Oriental Supermarket Where I met you At the Oriental Supermarket Where my dream came true You were out buying tea when you bumped into me And I couldn't believe what my eyes they could see At the Oriental Supermarket At the Oriental At the Oriental At, at the Oriental Supermarket I probably missed out a verse there somewhere. <laughs> that was a song. I don't know. Did I miss out a verse, Alex? I'm not sure. It's all right. We got to the end. Um, I never know. I've, sometimes I've played these songs so many times I could uh, do three verses and not know. Um, another one now we've been working on. Um, this is the fun part. Alex. We won't tell them about the secret thing in the middle. Um, anyway, yeah, this is called uh, Just Can't See... City ukulele on my back I had no money and I wanted to go out So I went busking cause I didn't know what to do That's when I saw you and I didn't have a clue Oh, wow, oh, yeah, yeah And you just can't see what your face it does to me And you just don't know the way you move and yeah, I'm loving you so and you just don't care when you're standing over there And you just can't see me standing over here Here, here, here I stand with my feet on the ground My ukulele in my hand and the head in the clouds And I, oh I, oh I Sun is shining in the sky Shining on the shoes of a shining eye Of the drama in the band and the street clowns down, down And the street clowns do 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 down And you just can't see what your face it does to me And you just don't know the way you move and I'm loving your soul And you just don't care when you're standing over there And you just can't see me standing over here See you dance, 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 your face it does to me and you just don't know the way you move and you're loving your soul and you just don't care when you're standing over there and you just can't see me standing over here Oh, I just got my finger stuck in my ukulele. Oh. 
It's all right. I've got it out. It's all right. We have another song now. We have two more songs. This is Techno Teddy. Yay! Here we go. Bionic Super Ted Strange mind made out of thread Copy Bionic Super Ted My Techno Teddy My Techno Teddy My Techno Teddy My Techno Teddy A furry robot so cuddly technology so cuddly strange mind made out of thread carpet bionic super ted strange mind made out of thread carpet bionic super ted my techno teddy My techno teddy My techno teddy My techno teddy A furry robot So cuddly Technology So cuddly my supersonic, technophonic, animatronic, techno teddy, my supersonic, technophonic, animatronic, techno teddy, my supersonic, technophonic, animatronic, techno teddy, my supersonic, technophonic, animatronic, techno ted, techno teddy, psychosomatic freak aside. I got my teddy and I'm paranoid. Psychosomatic freak aside. I got my teddy and I'm paranoid My techno teddy My techno teddy My techno teddy My techno teddy Furry robot So cuddly Technology So cuddly Strange mind made out of I'm sweating in places I haven't sweated for in a while. Um, in, for, there. Um, yeah, words that make sense, um, that come out of my face. Brilliant, we have come close to the end of the night. I have some merchandise for sale. If you've got any cash on you, you know what to do with it. Give it to me. No, <laughs> you, you can buy it online. Um, you can buy stuff online. You could do that. Um, if, just support me in any way you can. Um, follow me on Facebook, follow me on Instagram. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, just search Fragile Lucy and find it. Um, yeah, um, I'm also on Patreon. I've just set it up um, very recently. So if you want to check out what I'm doing on, on there, just go and have a look. You don't have to give me any money or anything. I'm just kind of starting up some kind of fan club where I kind of give away some behind the scenes footage and secret songs and lots of merchandise and prizes and things. Um, yeah. Ideas. I'm giving away ideas, pieces of my mind. Um, just triangular pieces. Take it home with you. It's yours. You can have that little bit there. 
my God, I've got to stop giving peace of my mind away. That's how I've lost it last time. Um, yeah, to finish tonight now, it's Animals with clothes on. It's available on 7-inch vinyl. Um, if you haven't got a record player, just buy it. You can bring it around mine. Um, I'll play it for you. <laughs> Yay. Here we go. Me and Alex composed this together. So this is our, our signature piece. Here we go. Here it is. so much for sticking around it's been a, an amazing night thank you so much to everybody that's come along tonight and supported us as artists and the art house as an amazing venue um, going back I started playing ukulele about 15 maybe 16 17 years ago and this was one of the first first ever venues I ever played ukulele in um, I did perform a bit before that um, I used to be a cabaret act in various venues around the south. I'm singing to backing tracks, but that's in the past. Um, but anyway, yeah, when I first started playing ukulele, um, this was a place. So 
it's a springboard for lots of talent and artists and poets of many kinds. Um, so support the art house in any way you can um, and keep it going, keep, keep the venues um, live, something like that. Yeah, yeah. thank you so much. Um, there's merchandise over there. Um, you'll get a free fridge magnet. I've got a couple of them left if you want one of them. Um, if you're a vegetarian, you might like it. It's got not bacon written on it. Um, <laughs> yeah, vegetarian ham, not bacon. Not vegetarian ham, not bacon. That's right. Yeah, and you know, corn changed the name of their vegetarian ham slices to something else because I reckon they were worried I was going to sue them. Um, so. Anyway, that's the end of the night. Um, have a safe journey home wherever you're going, and thanks so much. Thank you, Tinu. Thank you, Anita. Thank you, Cat Elliot. Thank you, Hummingbird. And thank you, Tinuke. And thank you, um, yeah, myself. Yay, thank you. Yay, cheers. Thank you, Bic. And Graham um, for serving drinks and being amazing. Yay, thank you. Cheers. Fly me to the moon, let me play among the stars, let me see what spring is like on Jupiter and Mars. In other words, hold my hand. In other words, baby, kiss me. <laughs> Fill my heart with song and let me sing forevermore. You are all I long for, all I worship and adore. In other words, please be true. In other words, Thank you.